know it felt faster, but I was like, nah, it ain't that much faster. It is what it is. We do everything for, you know, the performance. A lot of y'all been in the comments saying, yo, Steph, don't blow up the Panamera. Don't blow up the Panamera. Don't worry, man. This car, I'm not pushing to that limit. When I tell you I hate the way my car looks right now. Yo, what up, everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame, and we are back with another video. Today, man, today, 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 we are taking the 22-inch wheels off of this Porsche. Panamera Turbo. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're putting on stock wheels and we're going with Toyo R888 tires in the back and a very sticky summer tire in the front. The purpose of that is we want to see the difference that it makes between having those aftermarket large wheels with small tires does. Although they're forged three piece and they're fairly light for 22s, they're not gonna be as light as stock. So let's see what unspring weight does to make a difference. All right, let's jump into it. Let's go. Well, it's been a great run with the 22s. We're going to take them off for the winter, get them refreshed. But man, this car looks so freaking good, bro. This car is so immaculately clean, too. A lot of y'all been in the comments saying, yo, Steph, don't blow up the Panamera. Don't blow up the Panamera. Don't worry, man. This car, I'm not pushing to that limit. The Hellcat? The Hellcat, we push to the limit. Car was making a little over 900 wheel horsepower with almost 50,000 miles on it. So that car we pushed to the limit. This car, honestly, all we doing is we did down pipes. We're gonna do a piggyback tune first, you know, just to play a little bit. So all we did right now is down pipes, uh, BMC filter. Sounds great. Didn't that happen? So like I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted by the twin turbo Ferrari FF that's happening right now. That's right, there's twin turbo and a Ferrari FF in here. Like I was saying, this car is gonna be simple, man. Just uh, down pipes, I'm doing a piggyback tune to start. Has a BMC filter. Piggyback tune we're gonna install later today. That's gonna be in the next video. And ultimately, we're gonna add a plenum because the plenum really robs power from this car. Oh, we're gonna change to a full tune and we're gonna make the full tune be compatible with regular gas, I mean 93, or like race gas. So I'm hopeful that we can get this car down to 11.1, 11.0, maybe 10.99. We can get 10.99 out of this car, or 10.9, whatever. I'm gonna jump for joy, I'm telling you. So guys, mounting and balancing is not what it once used to be, how easy it used to be. You used to just, you know, take a wheel, swap a tire right but now there's these things called tire pressure sensors which this car has tire pressure sensors so when we take off these wheels uh i need those tire pressure sensors to go back in my factory wheel so they're gonna put the tire pressure sensors in before we can put the toyo triple eight r tires on all right so mountain balancing is not easy like it used to be man a lot of steps now. One of the things that I always do, I'm big on fitment and how wheels fit. The stock wheels sit really inside. So what we just added was this 15 millimeter spacer, uh, hub centric, along with these 45 millimeter lug bolts. So which is way longer than stock. I think it's like 45 or 50 millimeters. So that's so that we can get that nice fitment that I'm used to having. We're running them in the back for now because I didn't get my lug bolts in time for the front. So you'll see what I mean when we put the stock wheels back on the front. You'll see how much it sits inside versus how the rear is going to sit with the spacer. Listen guys, I know that these tires are supposed to grip, right? These are the Toyo Triple Eight rs So I know these tires are very grippy and everything, but when I tell you I hate the way my car looks right now compared to how it looked with the uh with the 22s oh i hate the way it looks but it is what it is we're not doing this one for the looks we're doing this one to you know set a time so we're going to try to set this time and then after that it's honestly winter so it's going to be time to put the car away you know periodically i may take it out here and there but 
pretty much going to just be time to put the car away. So it is what it is. I hate the way that looks. Ugh. And here she is. This is what it looks like on his stock wheels with a slightly larger tire setup though. So um, typically in the front, these cars run a 255, 40, 20. That's a 275, 40, 20. And then the back, they run a 295, 35, 20. And we are running a 305, 35, 20. So slightly larger on the tires, but at the same time looks good uh so tell me what you guys think this is how it looks with the spacer in the rear right and nothing in the front let me straighten out the wheels and let me get your opinion come on armor straighten out is that straight yeah that's straight okay so that's what the front wheel looks like no spacer uh compared to the back wheel with a spacer I'm gonna go directly down the side of the car so you guys can get a better idea. What do you think? You think we need the spacer? I'll tell you one thing though. That is not sexy to me at all. Some of you may like it. Your boy Steph. Your boy Steph hates it. Well, I mean, hey. I guess it is what it is. We do everything for, you know, the performance. We're going to see the differences that it makes. We're going to take the car out right now and do the testing that we need to do. And just like that, we are back in the car. Got the wheels changed out. Riding on my stocks. Y'all know how I feel about it. Y'all heard me. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm going to keep it a buck. This shit is riding good. <laughs> it's... it's it rolled good always. It always rolled really good, but I definitely feel that added sense of uh, cushion from the ex extra sidewall. And another thing is, which we're about to test in a little bit, it feels faster. Like from driving, like just from what they call the ass dyno, seat of the pants, it feels faster. It could be mental. But that's why we're gonna use the draggy to find out. Keep in mind the fastest 60 to 130 that we've ever done, 11.45. So if we run faster than 11.45, then that tells us it's faster. Uh, and we're definitely gonna be faster on the zero to 60. But we're gonna go ahead and do that run because in the next video, you're actually gonna see us uh, doing pulls from zero to 60 and quarter mile with the tires on the street to see if we can beat the last pulls we did on the 22s. Nah, it definitely feels faster. Yeah, it definitely feels faster. All right, zero to 60 test, guys. sold wow tires and wheels make a huge difference oh my gosh 3.78 and it was still spinning but that means on a track this shit is gonna do wow huge wow huge difference i am super impressed like i know it felt faster but i was like nah it ain't that much faster yo that's a big difference man all right, so now let's try to zero to 60 and quarter mile. See if that makes a difference. All right, let's, let's check it out. Now we're gonna try a quarter mile run and see how that goes. If we can get a good quarter mile run in. In 11.80. Whoa, bro, we couldn't even break. Wow. Wow, bro. Okay. 
I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. This is on the street. This is on the street. This is on the street, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Give me a second. Let me look back at the data one more time. Let me just gather my thoughts. I'll be right with y'all. Guys, I am so impressed. I cannot believe the difference. I knew it was going to be a difference taking off the wheels with rubber band tires and putting on these uh, Toyo Triple Eights. But my God, I had no idea the difference would be so big. Oh my gosh. All right, one more time. We're going to try as soon as we flatten out on the ground. Then we're going to hit it as soon as it gets flat. Come on, brighten up, brighten up. This, there's got to be something else going on besides wheels and tires. No way it improved that much. We just did an 11.26. What a huge dip. Nah, that's too much of a difference, bro. Uh oh, this little Porsche Turbo to try to catch. That was too fast. That was too much of a difference. Wow, that's a huge difference, man. So the first run I did, it was too much of a down the hill, so it did an invalid run, but it was like 11.15, so I was like, ah, but I was like, that felt a lot faster. I had no idea it was that much faster. That's a lot. Well, guys, that's it, man. Made it home, parked up the car, cleaned it up a little bit. You know, I always got to do that. But, uh, yo, if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos. And stay tuned for the next video when we're going to be installing the piggyback tune on this car and doing the same thing, giving you the results. But until the next one, it's your boy Stephanie here from Mind to Fame and about to go in the house. We out. We out.